They still Schindler, summer signings Kanji, Okonuki, Daichi Hayashi and Ivan Marquez all start, incidentally, four changes from the win over Dias Giori at the weekend with former Manchester United made sure that they retained their second tier status. We're underway then, you're with Dan Robach and Jeremy Eliadier for the Gunners' first pre-season fixture of 2023. It is Nuremberg against uh, Arsenal. Always interesting to see how the Gunners go about their business. Even off top, pulled the trigger. That was a great move. Party wins it back. Saka looking to move forward. White. Here he is again, the full back, and he pull it back. It's an awkward one for Vieira. He was moving back towards the ball. Yeah, I don't think Ben White had any other options. He was looking to find uh, an Arsenal player in the box and he had to really cut it back quite a lot to Vieira. Not regular last season. Trussard, to a certain extent, comes into that category. Ben White, we mentioned the cutback just a few seconds ago. Five assists in the Premier League last season. Here is Bukayo Saka. Three waiting inside the six-yard box. Saka shot, finds the corner, terrific hit. And what a start. And the Gunners have the advantage. And it's Bukayo Saka, Arsenal's superstar number seven, who was in terrific form for the national side, of course, in the European qualifiers just last month. And he's picked up where he left off. He can do little wrong for club and country. That was hit with real power and accuracy. And Saka's strike gives Arsenal the early lead. Well, what a goal, Dan. I think he's, uh, he doesn't show any, uh, any pre-season game or lack of uh, fitness. Bukayo there got the ball and done what he's been doing so many times last season. Get back on his left foot and the precision and power of that shot Gave no chance, 1-0, great start. Well, you start to wonder just how good Bukayo Saka could become such a terrific season last campaign, featured in every single Premier League game, started 37 out the 38, laid in with some 14 goals in the top flight. White party. White, it's good attacking play from Arsenal Vieira once again. White once more with a cutback. Maybe not quite the angle. Touch from Party, Trotter, and Nelson takes the deflection, spins up, and touched over for a corner. It's good to see Arsenal looking sharp, though. Still got them little one twos around the box. Always try to find the space, a lot of movement as well. That definitely hasn't changed from last season. Seen Vieira as well, who was not supposed to start this game. Odegaard was supposed to start and got knocked at, uh, at the warm up, so didn't want to take any risk. So Vieira coming in. Yeah, changed to the lineup very late on. Martin was meant to start. That's why Gabriel's got the captain's armband as well. That goes to signal so many in swingers from Arsenal last season. This is going to be the same. Punched away by Matenia and forced back in. But flash wide through a crowded penalty area. Couldn't have been that much of the goal to aim at. Also moves back towards the wings. This is Kivio once again seeing an awful lot of the ball. Party to size one up. Wasn't that far away. That's a decent, decent effort. Good try. Yeah, but it's moved back through Saliba. White. Saka to control instantly and catch awaits. Nelson wants it as well. Scored one from that angle already. This is Vieira. Catch you will lay it off and give you it straight at straight at Nelson. I don't think it was goal bound. No, I don't think so. And get five minutes, 60 minutes, whatever is decided on on each players. Saka again. Clever. For Nketcha and the shot fired in Matenia makes the save. Saka nearly had another. Well, on another day it might have been a hat trick and stinging the palms of the Nuremberg stopper. Adios! That was another Adios! great chance from Saka. Took it really well. Hits the target again. It's a decent save. Adios! 
he adjusted his feet really well. Years of, of trying to get a spot in the starting 11, how does he feel about it? You know, because he's obviously just going to come back in what two, three weeks. The boys have already been well advanced on their preparation. Well, from distance, but always going wide. Did well to win it back with some good pressing. Not the shot taken on. And always drifting wide. 11 goals last season. Nuremberg's top goal scorer. Maybe didn't quite catch this one. Always going wide of the target. Yeah, he was. I think he's just... Uh, to go by. But again, some experimentation here. This is Gabriel Jesus moving through the gears, but missing the target. Got onto that very smartly, but just couldn't find the corner. Expecting the flag to go up. Dan, he can't go up on the throw in. There's no offside. So, but that was a great move, and that's why you know he, he plays on the right hand side. He must have gone behind all the defenders. Nobody saw him making that move. Yeah, the finish is not the best, but the movement and was uh, was very good. Yeah, big chance from the throw. Jorginho. Jesus for Fabio Vieira. It's on his left side. And now it's Cedric on his left side. Just unable to wrap the left boot round it enough. It was fairly close in. It was neatly worked. It nearly worked. And I must say at the end, you know, Cedric nearly scored. But I don't think Vieira was the right pass there. I feel like he had the opportunity to curve it with his left foot. It was more, much more central than Cedric. I think... The defender as well kind of followed Cedric, so it didn't end up having a lot of space. Keeper was beaten, no one on the line. Proceedings here. Well, the home sport have got something to cheer about, and there's been so little for them to get off their seat here. We will know that there is more than a touch of fortune about that one, but the Nuremberg supporters celebrate nonetheless, and we are level at one apiece at the Max Morlock Stadium. I'm not sure if it's not an own goal. Might be, you know. But the pass there, the pass is not on. He's looking for that pass in, in the midfield for Jorginho, but it's, it's not on there. You've got to go wide. He's just forced things and end up conceding the goal. Well, it was a game that featured own goals last season. It's a decent effort, and it'll come back out to Balogun again, who will pull it back. And there he sees the ball spin up. Maglion, incidentally, if you're wondering why huge sways behind the goals are not filled, it's uh, because they can't open up the whole of the stadium for this fixture. Free kick to Nuremberg here. High line from the Arsenal back line as Nuremberg look to try and inch in front. Who will take the short free kick. And then it's fired in, and the follow-up is the crossbar. Hines sees the ball spin out of his grasp. And the opportunity for Hubner just unable to turn him from close range as Luna took it on from distance. Who? actually shot from that far I didn't see who that was but what a power that was the ball kept moving game absolutely very difficult for Here comes the corner clear to the edge of the area again and this time the shot isn't quite so good Nathaniel Brown taking that one on What a shot, yeah, I think that's Ali, is it Lune? What an absolute rocket. 
And you can see the way the ball, all them ball, the balls now are so light. They just go all different direction, making it so hard for goalkeepers. So the All-Stars fixture against the best of the MLS, but all the other games streamed. It's a neat ball from Nokemta, and the shot from distance again. This time it's Kastrop's effort, but he gets underneath it. Let's see if he can deliver a better ball, better delivery from him. Yeah, one or two have been wayward, unfortunately, from the Portuguese. What about this time around? Up goes the signal in the swinger order of the day. Decent, and the header flashes wide. Well, why not have a go? Wasn't the worst from Walters. Yeah, that was much better from Cedric. It's right on the 18-yard box. Yeah, I think it'll be unfair to... It's his dollar again, who's picked up a loose pass. Looks to try and centre to the right-hand side, and the shot is fired in by Daffener, but it was a little too weak, and there was two Arsenal players back. It's just a corner. Uh, it's another good counter-attack from Nuremberg. At the end, good, uh, good tackling from Trusty. But it feels like every time we lose the, we lose the ball, we've got a lot of space to run into. High delivery this time, and the header is over the crossbar from Gullien. Free let that one go as Lockhamp have picked up the loose ball and then long from Luna to the right hand side. Gola will collect first time around and still going here. Plenty of players up in support and Kastrop's effort flashes over the crossbar. Uh, another quick counter attack from Nuremberg.